early voting. It's been underway all week across the state, and so far, Hamden has seen the highest turnout. That's true. NBC Connecticut political reporter Mike Savino talked to officials to see how the whole process is going. Hundreds of voters have already come out in the first two days to cast their ballots in next week's primary. This is also letting officials in Hamden see how this will look for the November presidential election. I'm just proud that it's the Hamden voters are actually coming out. Democratic Registrar of Voters LaShonda Howard chalks that up to outreach. The town sent postcards to voters and used social media to advertise voting for three Democratic primaries for the state house and a Republican race for the U.S. Senate. According to the Secretary of the State's office, Hamden's 508 voters were the most among the 3,381 statewide over the first two days. Just that it's easy and it's quick. You don't have to worry about long lines. Instead of waiting in line on the day you have to vote like the 13th, it makes it a lot easier for me. Voters like that they can just walk in and cast a ballot. Early voting for the August 13th primary started Monday and lasts until Sunday. In November, early voting will be open for two weeks. This will probably be a pretty low turnout primary if you had to make a guess. I think this November you'll see a real test of early voting. Voters have to check out when they leave so records show that they came to the polls. They also put their ballots into secure envelopes, which are stored in a vault and not counted until the official day of the vote. In this case, primary day. No ballots are open until the actual election day. I think everything is up on the up and up. I don't have any problems with it. One last piece of advice. Look to see where your town is doing early voting. Towns over 20,000 voters can have multiple locations, but officials here in Hamden say it's still easier to have just one. From Hamden, Mike Savino, NBC Connecticut News. And